Greetings and welcome guys. This is Computer Crash Zero here with your next tutorial on batch files. I know you're just as excited as I am to uh, jump into this, so let's go ahead and open up Notepad++, go to Language, Batch, and pound out our first line of code. So we're going to do at echo off, give us a couple of spaces. Now here's where it gets fun. I'm going to be teaching you about the if exists statement. This statement simply checks to see if a folder, program, image, whatever you want exists in the path that you give it. Now this command can be very useful if you're creating programs that require certain scripts or files to function. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to go if exist double quotation marks and we're going to say c colon backslash test. Now this location does not exist on my hard drive as of yet. To prove it to you I'm going to go ahead and open up my root drive and as you can see no test folder. Now we're going to end this statement with a open and close parenthesis, put our closing parenthesis on the next line, followed by a space, and then else. That's right. We are combining a else statement into this. We're going to do another open and close parenthesis and put the ending parenthesis on the next line. Why are we doing this? Because we are going to build in prompts. When making a script that requires user input, prompts are very nice. What are the prompts going to say? Well, if we hit enter, tab in one time, we're going to go echo, file found. This is going to tell us, hey, this path already exists. What do we do next? Well, if the path does not exist, that's where this line is going to come into. We're going to say echo creating file. Sorry guys, my OCD is kicking in. So we're going to go creating file, enter, and we're going to use mkdir. So mkdir, which is going to make the directory, followed by a space, two quotation marks, c colon backslash test. Now at the very end we're just going to put a nice pause. So if we go from the top of the script it's going to check to see if c colon backslash test exists. If it exists it'll say file found else it's going to echo creating file and it's going to make the directory. So let's go ahead and save this and give it a test. We'll go to file save as to our desktop. We'll call this make.bat. Save it to the desktop. Here is our script. Now let's run it. As you can see it says creating file. Once we press any key, it'll close out because it doesn't have anything else to do. Let's go to the root of our drive, C drive. Here is our test folder. And as you can see, it is empty. That is how you use an if exists statement, guys. Now, if you want to take it one step further, you can. Let's see. Let's... Do I have anything on the desktop we can move? I do. Let's move this rasplex folder. So at the end of the script after the closing parenthesis we're going to go move two quotation marks because we're going to put in the source or the destination of our file so that's going to be c colon backslash users 
backslash two parentheses username backslash desktop backslash rasplex can't spell today guys just as always now that we have our source we're going to do space two parentheses, two parentheses C colon backslash test anytime you're using commands like move copy X copy robo copy you always want to do your source first then your destination last now you can go in and add a bunch of switches if you like but we're gonna keep this pretty simple today let's save our script and then run it, it says file found one directory moved pressing a key to continue let's go back to the root of our drive C drive test and here is our riseplex folder we open the folder as you can see it's got everything in it alright guys that is how you use your if exists statement, your mk directory statement, or mkdir, and your move statement. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and a like. Share me on your social media site. Batch files for everybody, guys. I'll do my best to keep these up for you. This is Computer Crash Zero, signing out.